So the musical brilliance of Smith's bassist Andy Rourke was remembered today after his death at the age of 59. With childhood friend Johnny Marr, Rourke helped define the band's unique sound and influence a generation of British groups. Those who knew him best also remembered his beautiful song. He passed away in New York after a long illness with pancreatic cancer. Our entertainment reporter Rishi Davda looks at his impact and his legacy. But I haven't got a stitch to His bass was part of the foundation on which the Smiths built their success. With guitar in hand, Andy Rourke effortlessly cemented a place in musical history. He started playing at just seven, befriending Johnny Marr at 11. Johnny and Andy, along with Morrissey and Mike Joyce, made up the Smiths. The Manchester band would go on to have two number one albums. It was Johnny who announced Andy's death, paying tribute, he said. Watching him play those dazzling bass lines was an absolute privilege and genuinely something to behold. But one time which always comes to mind was when I sat next to him at the mixing desk, watching him play his bass on the song The Queen Is Dead. It was so impressive that I said to myself, I'll never forget this moment. Honouring Andy, Morrissey said that he will never die as long as his music is heard, and that at the end of it all, we all hope to feel that we were valued. Andy need not worry about that. The Smith split in 1987. Later in his career, Andy joined Freebase, playing alongside Manny from the Stone Roses and Peter Hook from New Order. Andy was always the people person. He was always the one who appreciated what they'd done, what they were doing. He was very happy to talk to anyone about it. He loved to play. It was like it wasn't in any way for him a trial or a tribulation. He wasn't tortured by it the way that some of us are. Uh, he just loved what he did and he would do it whenever he could. Andy's known for his intricate melodies, but will be remembered for his gentle soul. Well, Smith's bassist Andy Rourke, who's died aged 59.